So I thought I'd do a little review on these gear wrench uh, 3 8 drive ratchets and just compare them out to the snap-on. I'm not doing it at all to bash on anybody or anything like that. I'm just, if you're starting out in the industry, I think this is valuable data. You know, uh, you don't have to go and get snap-on right away. I've said it for a little while. This is something to aspire to. Uh, eventually you start to swap out your tools to the higher end stuff and build up your your reserves and if you buy good second line tools uh, they can last almost indefinitely too so here we have this 90 tooth I like how the on and off switch is I don't think you're gonna bump it easily the head is fairly thin compared to the snap-on head you know, snap-on head is like this. It's a little bit, a little bit thicker. You know, if you take the um, the body and the handle length, this is the both an indexing ratchet. They're nearly identical. I mean, the snap-on is just a tiny bit more subtle. Um, a little less clunky, but honestly, we're really splitting hairs here at this point. Now, the snap-on is, is a locking flex head, right? You, you pull the lock back, and it stays in the locked position, whereas the gear wrench, it's just a detent, right? So over time, this will get soft and may slip out of position a little bit more. That just becomes a hassle thing. I don't think it's it's a deal breaker. I mean, really, it's how does it feel in your hand? You know, how's the weight? How's the balance? How's the head size? I mean, the, the snap-on head is definitely smaller. Uh, the body on the handle is smaller. It's not quite as wide. But if you're starting out, and you're gonna to need to build up your tools. I think this is totally acceptable to have the gear wrench. And then over time, go to the name brand. The biggest thing is, okay, let's say I got this, I'm working at Peterbilt, I'm working at a truck center, I'm working at a dealership, I'm working wherever, you know, a small engine or vehicle repair. Okay, if this breaks, uh, it could be difficult to get one, you know. It could be a week or two. Uh, depending on getting to Amazon or who's going to sell gear wrench or have this model. If this goes, snap-on guy is coming by, hurry, he's in my area, give him a call, no big deal, I'm swapped out. So it comes down to time and ease of replacement. So you just got to decide whether or not those risks are worth the reward. Okay, let's move on to a straight into the box here, straight handle. Now we're starting to see a little bit more difference. The head size is noticeably smaller. Shank on the handle is thinner. But other than that, again, pretty well identical. You tell me, is that really going to make a difference? It could. Balance and length. I mean, the big things that upset people are, you know, this, this getting bumped all the time or this going on the fritz, you know, the Paul to change direction. Uh, I think it's low profile enough that you won't hit it. The head is very thin compared to the snapper. Again, I think the 90 tooth would work. It's great having one of these longer ones for leverage and for reach. You know, getting into clear obstructions, this is this is absolutely a must have. You know, getting around things where you need the knuckle clearance. The chrome looks nice. The handles look good. 
the length is fully acceptable. They're not cheating you out on length. All right, let's do a regular handle. Now we're starting to see some difference. A little bit chunkier and bigger. A little bit longer. This is where you could find the snap-on gets you into some tighter spots, some more recessed areas, but there's nothing wrong with this gear wrench, like honestly. Um, you tell me, is that really, really a deal breaker? I don't think so, but I think this could uh, over time be just a tiny little bit more clunky and slow you down and this might feel just a little bit better in the hand. It's lighter, the balance is good. This this feels heavier, definitely feels heavier. I'd have to put them on a scale to know. There's no comparison, yeah, this one's definitely heavier. So. But starting out, I wouldn't waste a second not doing this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'd go get it. I'd even have the gear wrench in my box as you know, a good backup if somebody else is working with me. Here's the stubby in comparison to these. And then the extensions are good. Um, they've, they've got a bunch. The knurling is fine. These ones have a wobble and a straight. I think everybody's name is going on these extensions like they they're stamped in the same factory gear wrench on one you know um aries on another nico on another uh you name it any name they want to put on it mastercraft any tool line i mean these are the identical ratchets that in Canada are sold under the uh, Mastercraft name from Canadian Tire. They just put their logo on it, but it is an absolute identical ratchet. Made in the same factory. So, got my opinion on it. I think they're all right. I bought these for having at the shop, so the guys have something to use. Right now, we've got a bunch of different okay tools. I'm just upping our tool line. Gonna get some more Milwaukee wrenches, um, more sockets. I've got a whole bunch of impact sockets, impact extensions. That way if we're quickly having to pull a filter off or open a bracket up and get, get out of air cleaner or something, you just grab one of these and we've got what we need and, you know, we're not fuddling around. We're not ripping down equipment at our shop. So, uh, to have super nice expensive tools, Mac and snap on, it's just money tied up in the box that I can either put in my pocket or in the guy's pocket. So, uh, it's not necessary, but when it's my own stuff and I want to work and I'm going to have it as a legacy item, then yeah, I, I keep it. It's, I, I buy the best. So there you go. It's what everything looked like. Thanks for sticking around on the longer content. Hope this could help somebody in their decision-making process. Catch you on future videos.